Hey everyone and welcome back. Today the map was released on test servers and I wanted to bring you all a video showcasing just a little bit of each compound. Since I know there is a large amount of the community that won't be able to try out the new map, I'm just going to tell a little bit about each compound and kind of let the clips play out. I'll make sure to have timestamps so you're able to skip around, but just some quick information before we jump in. Just from the few games I've played, this new map is made really, really well. Just like the other two maps, this one also has 16 compounds. The devs divided them up into three categories, which are agricultural, residential, and industrial. As soon as you guys are able to play this new map, you will realize how big some of these compounds really are. And the way they all connect just makes the other maps look so bad in my opinion. This one is definitely the best one. There's just a lot more to this map than the previous two, a lot more to do, and a lot of different angles. Also, if you guys would be interested in a deep dive for each compound where I talk about different angles and vantage points, let me know in the comments. It's something I'm considering to make, but I'm not sure exactly what you guys are looking for. Okay, with all that said, let's get right into the compounds, starting with the agricultural compounds. First, we have Heritage Pork. These farming compounds will feel really familiar to anyone who's played Hunt. They definitely have some different routes and ways to move around, but still fit that Hunt farm style. Heritage is a pig slaughterhouse with not too much going on. One thing I did find is if you stand under this area, I guess it burns you. I don't know if that's something the devs meant to put in there, but I feel like I should be able to walk here and not burn. I would get it if I was hugging up against the wall, but I don't feel like I was. So just look out for that. This compound also has a large outpost set up near it, and I think I counted four of these on the map, but there could be more, honestly. Next, we have Moses Poultry. This was a chicken farm with a few more buildings surrounding it compared to the last farm. One thing to note is that the back side of the compound is elevated higher than the front side. This compound gave me a similar vibe to the Salter Pork compound on Lost and Delta. I don't have too much to add to this one, so I'll let the clips play. Lastly for the agricultural compounds is Seven Sisters Estate. Again, these farm compounds are nice and fit into the map, but aren't very special compared to the other compounds. You'll see that later. I will say, however, Seven Sisters does have some nice angles and different windows to play around with, so fights in this compound should be pretty fun. Now let's take a look at the residential compounds, starting with Pearl Plantation. I can already tell this is going to be a fun compound to play at. You have the main building in the center, with little houses spread off to the side. These white houses are really similar to the ones in Hunt already, so they should be pretty easy to learn. The plantation itself is really cool on the inside, it has a lot of big open rooms and twisty stairs leading to the top. The amount of windows on this compound will add a lot of options for when you're pushing in. It also has a nice walkway surrounding the outside of the house.
The devs also created another prison. This one is named Pelican Island Prison. And like the name suggests, it is kind of on an island. One thing I should say about this map as a whole, the way they put water in is pretty much perfect. There's no huge patches of water like in Stillwater Bayou, and where there is water, it just kind of feels right. You will still get some major areas of water, but there's gonna be multiple ways around them, or you can even go over them through bridges. So anyways, back to the prison. This compound is much different than Nicholas Prison. It still has some tight spaces, and you also get a massive area that overlooks the map. One thing to know is that this compound is on a really high hill, so if you're pushing into the compound, it's gonna be a major uphill battle. Next we have the first testimonial church. Of course Hunt has to put a church compound in somehow. I really like how they did this one though. You have the church in the center, kind of on a hill. You have to go up some stairs to get on the same plane as the church. And in the grave areas, they're kind of on a slope. The inside of the church is super tight, so this is gonna be one of those compounds you don't wanna push into without a shotgun. Even the outside has some pretty close quarters. The next two compounds are kind of like one big extended compound. You have Upper and Lower to South. Upper's main building is going to be a massive bank, and it has a bunch of little stores and houses around it. Both of these areas remind me of Red Dead Redemption, and that's just super awesome. You definitely don't want to be running in the middle of the streets for these compounds. Lower to Sal is a little more run down, but it has the similar idea of the layout. The towns are separated by a river, but are super close to each other. I can't wait to be in a game where one bounty is in upper and the second bounty is down in lower. That would just be such a cool match. Lower to Sal's main building is going to be a saloon. I fought the butcher in here once, and it was pretty difficult to maneuver.
Lastly on the residential compounds, we have my favorite so far, which is Fort Bolden. This compound is so much fun to fight in. This fort has a wall that goes all the way around that you can run on. You also have little sniper towers you can get into and get on top of the little houses. It's just so many different angles. The main building itself is pretty simple, but the outside is what makes it so cool. For the final section of compounds, we have the industrial compounds. Starting with Keen Snake Mine, you can see how massive some of these buildings really are. They add a whole new feeling to Hunt Showdown. These types of compounds all kind of follow the same format. You have one massive building in the middle with ways to move around and find cover on the outside. The Stanley Coal Company compound follows the same formula. One cool thing about these massive buildings is that they all come with some nice windows and a bunch of different areas to rotate between. Darren Shipyard is a compound that has a pretty good amount of water in front of it, so you have to be kind of careful where you're rotating to. If I'm being honest, this compound is one of my least favorite. It fits into the game, but just compared to how cool some of the other compounds are, this one just seems to fall short. Reeves Quarry brings a lot to the game as far as design. This compound has so many highs and low points, positioning on this compound is going to be so important. It's not all rocky pathways though, the closer you get to the actual building, the more even the ground becomes. There's a bunch of different angles to hold on this compound and you never know when you're going to get shot from behind.
Fort's River Fishery has a really nice design also. There are some low entrances and it's surrounded by little shacks you can take cover in. I have a feeling this compound is going to be a little tricky to defend. The water on this compound is done in such a way that it shouldn't really mess with your rotations. If you're in the water on this compound, you probably did something wrong. Ash Creek Lumber is another one of my favorites. One thing about this compound is that from the outside, this building looks massive. But when you're on the inside, it doesn't feel as big as it looks. The outside parts of the compound are really cool. There's so much cover you can take, and you can even rotate underneath the building. I've had a few fights here, and the compound just works perfectly. I haven't been to Weeping Stone Mill as much as the other compounds while playing, but from a design standpoint, I really enjoy this area. It has a good amount of highs and lows, great windows, and just a really fun area to move in. And I'm going to say it now, this is the worst part of the entire map. From the inside of the house, this wheel is just so loud, I wish I could throw dynamite on it just to blow it up. Well that's it everyone, a brief look at every compound. If I had to rate each compound best to worst, it would probably look something like this. But again, I have limited experience on this map, so I'm sure it'll change over time. Like I said earlier, if any of you would be interested in some kind of compound guide, let me know in the comments. And also let me know what compound you want me to start with. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more Hunt Showdown content. Expect a lot more content on the new map coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time.